<laughs> Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> I, have, I have a real intimate question to ask all the all the black people in the room. Uh, yeah, you're getting real black close black. now. You're getting real close, Mark. Um, <laughs> I remember years ago I was seeing a black client, and I you know, you know, this is out of context, you're and I right said, and, and I said, and I want you to see if you can help under if you can help explain this to me. I said, what is it that you're most afraid of? You know, we and that that wasn't the first question out of the gate, but we're getting to it. And he looked at me. And he w- kind of went inside, and he looked at me, and his eyes, it's like he was holding back tears, and he said, you know what I'm most afraid of? I am most afraid of feeling safe. Because mm. if I felt safe, the pain of my entire life would just start to ooze. I am like one big abscess. And I don't... And, and here's the irony. I think it might heal me, but I think it might wash me away. And so I kind of live in limbo. Mm. But what I'm most afraid of is feeling safe because my whole life is adapted to the belief you can never be safe enough, don't expect to be safe, and I, and I don't live a full life. So wow. can, any of that, can anybody relate I to that? I think that that uh, applies to us greatly. I think we live in a state of numbness. Mm. It's better to be numb than feel. Yeah. Wow. And we're always expecting the next uh, shoe to drop. But I, 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 you know, I differ in a sense that you know, I and I know that you know, and I mean the history of things. You know, I, I, and I know that the 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 relevance of history, and and the impact and power of history. Mm-hmm. But there's an old saying: whatever you blame, you empower. Mm-hmm. Go deeper. Go deeper. Ooh. Go deeper. Come on. So if 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 you, the white man, and the history you've gone through are responsible for my happiness. I cannot be happy until you allow me to be so. Ooh. But if no matter what has happened to me, I'm responsible for my own happiness and my own healing, and I take on that responsibility, something happens. Even if I don't make it all the way, there's an empowerment that occurs mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that changes me. Wow. And that's not something we're into yet. We're more into... The blame game still. We can blame everybody for everything. We have a list of blames from its history to, I mean, and it's in music and it's blaming, blaming, blaming. And let's say a lot of the blaming is true. What is the relevance of the blaming if the person you're blaming is not going to do anything? How does that impact your children? Wow. Wow. Mm. Wow. Billionaire, go. Speaking on what Mr. Duke said. As you know, as you know, my story, when I was in the truck up north and I started writing the quotes, it's personal to me because I started to take responsibility for where I actually come from. And I wrote and I and I would uh, I would basically write away my pains so I could accept my joy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people not willing to do that. When people read these shirts, these shirts are all over the world. Mm hmm. And this is my personal life where I came from. When I wrote you quotes like, it's okay for your pockets to be broke, just make sure your mind makes sense. I was releasing my pain of being broke so long Mm -hmm. so I could find true wealth. Mm -hmm. When I wrote quotes like I fell in love with success, so I guess that means I cheated on failure. Mm -hmm. It used to be the opposite. You know what I'm saying? You was in love with failure. I was in love with failure. Mm -hmm. And cheating on success. And And so many people are, they don't, like Mr. Duke said, These people will not take responsibilities for their own actions. So what they do is they put on these nice chains. I'm the person that used to do it and ride around on these big 22, 26 inch rim. It was me. I'm not speaking for nobody else Mm -hmm. because I'm hiding what's really hurting me. Mm. Well, now that I found joy, I don't need the rims. I don't need the chain. I'm happy with inspiring other people to find out there's no value in that car. You can get more value out of your self-respect. And, and that's so beautiful, man, because I, I got a 15-year-old.